Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chapman here, and on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build three of the easiest farms that you can in Minecraft. We're going to have all three of these done by day one, because everybody says it's not possible. You hardly need any resources for this, but you are going to need one thing, and let's get going. Okay, to start this, you're obviously going to need to find yourself a village and or spawn inside of a village. But once you've done that, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to grab 67 logs in total, including three cobblestone and about a stack of dirt. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take 63 logs and we're going to turn those all into planks. And then we are going to take 36 planks and turn them into sticks. We're then going to make 12 signs, 10 trap doors, three chests, two boats, three stone shovels, six slabs and then use whatever you've got left over to make some fences now once you have all of that that is all of the materials that we are going to need right there to build all of these farms the rest of the materials are going to come from the actual farm itself like we need 25 iron in order to build some hoppers and some hopper minecarts that is actually going to come from the iron farm but yeah but once you have all of your materials set now what you're going to do is you're just going to go around to your village and you're going to steal all of your beds we need seven beds in total and once you have all of your beds, find yourself a nice flat area. So I've decided that this area over here is my nice flat area. And place down three beds, just kind of chilling anywhere. Somewhere close to the village, so that way the villagers can pick up on them. But that is where we are going to build our iron farm. And then what we are going to do is we are going to find ourselves a nice little crop area like this. I mean, that's a nice one right there, but we're actually going to build... We're actually going to steal this one right here. And what we're going to do is first, we're going to turn this into a villager breed. Now, everybody always rushes day one iron farm. You can see me. I'm even dilly dallying here. It doesn't even matter. But everybody always rushes day one iron farm. But what happens if you run out of villagers and you've only got four? I know. So we're going to build a villager breeder. Okay. First thing up, we're going to steal this guy's composter. And we are just going to simply place it down here in the center with another bed behind it. A piece of dirt above the composter to stop him from doing that and then we're gonna fill the rest of these water spots with some dirt except for the one that is underneath the composter there leave that there so yeah and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our boat we're gonna place it here in the center in order to capture this guy but we're gonna try and capture another villager right here and we're gonna do that by coming to either end it doesn't matter and we're gonna place down one two three four pieces of dirt with one, two, three beds on top of those dirt. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four logs and we're gonna build two pillars with a gap in the center, place a trap door on the top half of those pillars, remove this oak plank right there, replace it with a trap door going down, and then dig this down another three blocks. With that done, what we are going to do is we're going to take our fences. We need 36 of them, and we are going to surround this entire crop right here with our fences, leaving just a one block opening right here on the side. And we're even going to surround all the beds. And then coming inside the farm, with all of that done, we're just going to remove two beds, and we're going to come back to this when we get a little bit closer to nighttime. So with everything all done, that is what you should have right there for your villager breeder. Obviously turn the rest of this into crops, but yeah. Now, we'll come back to this when we get a little bit closer to the nighttime. Because of the two beds, we should get a second villager in here. And if we're lucky, he'll get sucked in. But now I'm going to rush over here and I'm going to rush over to my little flat ground area where I designated for the iron farm. And then for the iron farm, I am just going to place down a trap door. Behind the trap door right here, I am going to build up four blocks build forward over the trap door one block and then i'm going to turn this into a three by three area so a three by three area that is overhanging the trap door and then off of each end of the three by three area i am going to extend it by one single block i'm going to place three fences over top of those solid blocks and then in each one of these corners i am going to build it up three and then i am going to remove the lower two blocks With that all done, that is what we should have right there. This is going to spawn our iron golems, and it is going to kill him as well. We'll come back to this one afterwards once we actually get one iron golem. Then we can go and get some water. But back down here at the bottom, what we are going to do is, yes, it looks like we have all three of our villagers right here linked up and ready to go so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove their beds and we are going to place them around this trap door like so hopefully all three guys link up to them yep and once all three guys are in bed we're going to place one 
two temporary blocks above the forward villager, remove the lower one, place a trap door below it, and then cover the rest of these beds with our trap doors. With that done, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this solid block, replace it with a torch so that way no iron golems spawn on top of there. Around these beds, we are going to dig it out one single block so that way we have a little drop like this because we don't want the villagers to jump out anywhere but inside that trap door like that. Oh, he's a goner. He's a goner. We now need to get rid of that iron golem too as well. Oh boy, I'm done. Okay, but with the iron golem out of the way, you see we already got some iron now, so this is perfect. But what we are going to do is we're going to take this boat, and I have built a wall here in between the boat and the villagers. And I am going to count back one, two, three, four, five blocks. I'm going to place the boat on that fifth block, and then I am going to line it up with the bottom. So right there with that line on those blocks. You see what I mean? right like that so it's one block away on that little thing doesn't matter if it's crooked or not and then we are going to go and grab ourselves a zombie and we are going to lure him into this like hey bud without disturbing those villagers because we don't want another iron golem to spawn so we're going to bring this guy out and around and then we are going to lure him forwards and we are going to get him inside of this boat okay and with that set up right there, that is our iron farm set up and ready to go. The only problem is, is iron golems are going to spawn down here on the ground. So in order to stop that, what we are going to do is we are going to take our three shovels that we have. And from the center block, so that center trap door, we are going to count out eight. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do the same thing backwards. So this is one, two, three. That's eight, and we're going to do this around the entire farm, and then we are going to path block absolutely everything. You want to try and keep all zombies, if you can, away from that farm too, so... Okay, and with all of your path blocks done, the only thing left to do now is we need to place a lower half slab above this zombie. And then to safely expose him and start this iron farm, we'll need to turn those top three blocks right there into path blocks. We can now remove these lower ones. An iron golem is going to spawn. Remove these path blocks. And now with either that iron that we get from that iron golem or using the ones that we already have, make a bucket and waterlog that trap door that they are standing on. But first, we need to go back to the villager breeder over here. And yep, we have two guys stuck inside this boat, so that is perfect. So now we can close this in. If you have more than two guys in here, you're going to have to get one of the guys out of there. But first, we actually want to replace these two beds. So one right there and one on the other side. And then we can close these guys in, remove their boat, and then just turn all of the crops that you see into farmland. And now with that done, that is our villager breeder done and ready to go. All we need to do now is make ourselves a bucket. With that bucket, we are going to grab a single water source and then head back over to the iron farm. As you can see, because the zombie is inside the boat, we don't need no name tag or nothing. We're going to waterlog that back block right there. Grab one more water source. And before we spawn another iron golem, we are going to build up, place a water source right there to flow everything to the outside. And already we have 19, 19 iron. And we are on day one. We have another iron golem spawning in here. We only need six more iron to go and we can start to build a crop farm. And as you can see, it takes a little while for these guys to die. So yeah, we're going to have to. We'll come back and upgrade this in a second. But first, we're going to take this front slab right here because we only need two. And now that we've got 22 iron, we are going to move on to the crop farm. And this one is extremely easy. The first thing that we are going to do is we're just going to grab a log, make some more planks, and then make another set of sticks. Find ourselves a nice little crop area like this, similar to the other one. Oh, we have villagers. Do we have villagers? Oh, day one, we got villagers. And we are just going to make a set of rails two hoppers, 
a minecart, and then a single minecart with hopper. Once we have those, we are just going to come to this little crop area right here, or another one that is like it, and we are going to surround this with our walls, leaving a one block gap opening on either end. We're going to steal this man's composter to stop him from doing that, replace it in the center with a dirt block above it, and then we're going to fill in the rest of these water spots with our dirt. Once we have that done, hopefully this guy stays in here. What we are going to do is outside of this opening, we are going to put down a slab with a trap door above the slab going forwards, remove this log, place a hopper going sideways with a rail on top of that hopper, a minecart on top of the rail. We can then remove it in front of that minecart. We are going to build it up too high. We're going to place a trap door above the minecart going down and then another trap door on top of that temporary block. Remove those, turn the rest of these into cropland. And now all we need to do is literally get a villager on top of that slab. That's it. So like this guy here, I don't know, maybe we can push him. Actually, I have an idea. First try. Okay, and with him in place right there, we are officially done. Day one, we've got ourselves a villager breeder, we've got ourselves an iron farm, and we've got ourselves a crop farm. Now, this crop farm right here, this one's going to give us a stack, a full stack of crops per day. The only thing that you're going to have to do is you are going to have to monitor this guy and make sure that he's not planting wheat. If he starts planting too much wheat, maybe just replace him with one of your villagers from the villager breeder because we've already got one right there we've already got one villager ready to go now this one is the same as the crop farm we are going to get one single villager from this per day but with this bed setup right here all we have to do is expand this to a nine by nine so the farmland expand it out to a nine by nine and you will end up getting two villagers per day same thing monitor this guy make sure he is not planting wheat if he starts planting wheat then say goodbye to him and just replace him with another guy. Coming back to the iron farm, in order to upgrade this and kind of make it a little bit faster, all we're gonna do is collect whatever iron we have here. Oh, there's some more up there. I hope I can get it. I am just going to make two hoppers and I am going to point both of these hoppers into a temporary block right here in the center. And that is where I am going to place my chest now to upgrade this even more what we are going to do is we are going to take our 12 signs that we got and our bucket and i'm going to go on a mission somewhere and i'm going to find some i need to find some lava that is not lava oh i can hear and i seem to have found it but i'm going to grab one lava source that is the luckiest that's why it's nice to turn up your environmental and as quickly as I can, before we get another iron golem to spawn, what I am going to do is I am going to build up. And from right here on the side, I am going to place down a sign. With another one going into that, which is going to bring a sign here in the center. Around the center sign, we are going to place one, two, three more signs with another one, two, three, Four signs above that and what that is going to allow us to do is now we can remove these dirt blocks we can fill the center void right here above that sign with some lava and other than getting a chest in place we are officially done day one hasn't even come to a close yet and we've got ourselves a lava based iron farm 19 iron again a working villager breeder with now two We've got two villagers in there, and we're not even at the end of day one yet. And let's just see if this guy has traded any crops whatsoever. No, no crops yet. But that is all right, because we are officially done. Protect your villagers however you would like. Make sure you light up your crop farm so that way your crops can grow at night too as well. And other than that, see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.